Ranciere syndrome is a rare disease that causes muscle weakness, heart defects, and stunted growth and affects 3 in 100,000 people. Mitochondria have small segments of DNA inside of their matrices, carrying genes that allow proteins to be made. In people with this syndrome, a section of this DNA is deleted that holds the coding to make one of the protein complexes in the electron transport chain of oxidative phosphorylation. Kiernseer syndrome usually occurs due to random genetic mutations of mitochondrial DNA during its replication, however occasionally the syndrome can be inherited from others. So how does a few missing mitochondrial genes cause these symptoms? Well, the genes that are missing or malfunctioning are the instructions needed to make a protein complex called cytochrome oxidase or complex 4. During regular oxidative phosphorylation, electrons are shuttled through a chain of redox reactions through protein complexes. Simultaneously, a hydrogen ion concentration gradient builds. To reach equilibrium, protons go through a final protein complex called ATP synthase to produce ATP. Cellular respiration's purpose is to convert food energy into ATP. The bulk of ATP production happens during oxidative phosphorylation. So if this protein complex, complex 4, cannot be made due to the absence of the genes to make it, the electrons carried from the Krebs cycle are unable to be passed successfully along the electron transport chain. This stops oxidative phosphorylation. When this process stops, significantly less ATP is made and the cell can do less work. This includes replication. Energy is consumed during cell replication, a process essential for growth. With less efficient replication happening due to less available energy, people with Kiernseer syndrome often experience delayed puberty or short stature. The main symptom seen in people with Kiernseer syndrome is muscle weakness, including droopy eyelids. When muscle cells don't acquire adequate cellular energy to spend on the movement of muscles, muscle cells are less capable of doing work. Without oxidative phosphorylation and with less ATP, the body's energy gets used up faster than normal. The body doesn't make as much energy as it should, so there's less energy available to spend performing physical tasks. With low ATP, upper eyelid muscles do not have the energy to be held up normally, causing eyelids to droop. One of the syndrome's most life-threatening symptoms is its effect on heartbeat. If oxidative phosphorylation does not occur, there is less cellular energy for the heart muscle cells to use to contract and beat. The contractions of the heart muscle cells become delayed or less forceful, meaning blood flow becomes inconsistent or inadequate to keep the body functioning. To detect Kiernseer syndrome, excess lactic acid can be detected in blood and spinal fluid. Where did this lactic acid come from? Well, glycolysis produces a bit of ATP, and with hindered oxidative phosphorylation, the body relies solely on glycolysis to provide energy. However, glycolysis requires NAD plus to reduce sugar to pyruvate, which normally comes from oxidative phosphorylation when NADH shuttles electrons. To replenish NAD plus without oxidative phosphorylation, pyruvate is rerouted into lactic acid fermentation where it is reduced by NADH, making lactic acid and NAD plus that keeps glycolysis going. Because lots of glycolysis occurs to maintain ATP levels, there is a large excess of lactic acid. There's no cure for Kiernseer syndrome, but symptoms can be treated. Implanted pacemakers or antiarrhythmic drug therapy can control heartbeat, and surgery is done to help eyelids droop less. Vitamins like riboflavin help convert carbs into glucose quicker, allowing more glucose to be used in glycolysis to produce ATP more efficiently. We take a lot for granted when it comes to our bodies. Spreading awareness about how our bodies function and understanding how a tiny abnormality can have devastating consequences helps us appreciate our complexity. Your body's incredible. Believe that. It's in your DNA.